Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from My Magical Planner. And today we have a little package from Sadie Stickers. I have this out with my monthly setup here because in here are the stickers I'm going to be using for my monthly layout for April. And so I figured we would just combine the two. So she recently had a sale and I picked up a couple of additional items that I maybe wouldn't have normally picked up in addition to the sticker kit I really wanted. So let's just kind of slice in here. I say slice because I'm like, where's my, oh, it's right there in front of my face. So. I really enjoy her monthly kits. So I did also, because she has some Tombos. I think she might be clearancing them out. I'm not sure. So I got some of those as well. So everything, that's everything. Okay. So that is my receipt there. A couple of extra things here. Oh, it might've been a, was there a $2 Tuesday? I can't remember. But here are the markers that I got. I got a Tombow, it's P660. Um, I'm assuming there should be a name on here, but I don't see it off the top of my head here. This end is a brush tip and then this is a chiseled tip on the side, which I don't have. I think my other Tombow might have a pointed tip maybe on the end. I'm not positive, but I like having a variety of little markers. And then this was, I think it's a Tombow brush pen or maybe just a brush pen that I didn't realize it came with that I don't know what that's for but that's something anyhow so you have this and then there is your brush tip uh, I can probably swatch both of these on this piece of paper here for you guys so we'll just do I'm not a great letter person so just do Joss here Maybe just Jessica. Maybe that'll work better. So it definitely has a really nice tip. I, I want to learn a little bit more about lettering, so that's why I did that. And then here is the color on the purple. Very light purple. And since I use purple a lot in my different spreads, I thought it was a really good purchase. Okay. So now that we have those out of the way, so we have our monthly kit with additions and this. I'm gonna start with this part right here. So I have date clusters and I did get those in gold, silver, and rose gold. I like the size of these. And I like the little dots around them as well. I thought that was really pretty. And then I think everything here is really to go with this monthly kit. So I have the floral deco, both in a transparent matte and a normal matte paper. I like having the variety. Then I also got, oh, I think this is a freebie sampler she put in here. I don't think that I actually put someone's name in, to be honest. But there is the trim deco for April. And then she has a butterfly one and it matches the color of the kit, which is awesome. So you have dates up here. This is all order freebie butterfly sampler. And then you have some of her butterflies, which I, if you guys don't know, I love butterflies. And then here is the April kit. So first we have this little sheet and this has our Monday through Sunday here. It has a line of paydays, a line of day offs, a line of appointments, a to do school next month, favorites, home finances, important goals, fitness and work. So you can very easily customize that to work for you. Here is the first page. So you have this beautiful, beautiful deco for the top. And this is extra boxes here for filling in spaces. We have more extra boxes here. We have more numbers in here, so you can choose which ones you want to use. We have two full boxes and four quarter boxes. And then you have all of your 
big holidays for the month. So for April, we have April Fool's, Earth Day, Passover, my birthday, which actually is appropriate this month, Easter, a happy birthday. Um, I don't know how to say this. It's probably, I don't know if it's a Jewish or a different religion. I want to say Muslim, but I actually don't know what that one, excuse me. I actually don't know what that one is, so I don't want to mess it up. But you do have that there. So trying to be very inclusive. And then I have this page. I did get the decorative border this month because I felt like I didn't need the sidebar. I'm not using it as much. And so we have some fourth boxes here, some torn paper elements, some swatches through here, some midi boxes. And I'm guessing she has this so that you could layer them. We have a square box here some other squares and circles and just very pretty. So I think what I'm going to do is take a moment and kind of look at my other deco and see if there's anything else I want to pull out to go with this. And then we're going to start working on April's layout. All right. I have pulled out a couple of things. I've kind of made a stack here. I'm not sure what I'm going to use and what I'm not, but I have, you know, an idea of what I'm kind of the direction I'm thinking of going. So I think we'll start with putting my banners on the top and our sidebar down. The things that should be super simple, but I feel like never are, right? Oh, we didn't look at trims. I'll probably pull out a trim to go with this too. I do really love this artwork though. I think it's really pretty. Oh, we're already off. Ay, ay, ay. I really love these inserts, but sometimes I feel like matching things up is really hard. Not sure what that was, but. April and then we'll get the other side here. You know, I don't usually do the sidebar like this. Okay, we should be good. I was like, does it go all the way up? I don't even know. I really love this artwork. It's so pretty. And I, I really loved this portion, which is part of the reason I decided this month to do the darker sidebar of that. And I found I'm not turning back to it, at least right now. I have some other monthly kits coming. They're actually coming from Miss Amio. Because I bought them at the same sale, just, you know, different seller. So she takes longer. Ah, no, that wasn't where I wanted you. So those will be coming soon. Um, I guess it goes with the bottom of the page, maybe. Ugh. I should have matched it up at the top first, shouldn't I? Okay. We'll do that now. Okay. So there's that part of the base. And then 
I haven't marked out where my dates are. Let me find a pencil. Because I'm really bad at figuring this one out. I guess I could use a sticker, but... Okay, I don't see a pencil, so yes. All right, it's decision time. Do I want to use these numbers or the numbers that came with the butterflies? What are those? Here they are. I kind of like these ones better. I mean, these are really nice. They match the kit and everything, but I don't know. All right, let's look here. So April starts on a Saturday. So first, and then eighth, fifteenth, twenty second, and twenty ninth. Okay, good. <laughs> I always hate those months where you're like, yeah. So let's put down these big squares because I know I'm gonna want those. Like I don't want to pull up a number to put down the big square. So I'm going to do this one over here somewhere maybe. Should I do the other side first? I mean, I could have one on my birthday, right? So I could have one here. And then I have the happy birthday. Okay, let's do this one on this side then. And then let's do this one a little later in the month. Maybe down here. Like that. And then I definitely want to trim across here. We have to put on our Monday through Sundays. Where did those strips go? Oh, and we also have these torn paper elements that I liked. those for a minute. Okay. Um, there they are. Okay. We'll do Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. It always messes with me a little bit because Thursday is on this side when it comes to my monthly plan, but it's on the other side when it comes for the weekly plan. So I'm always like, did I mess up? All right, Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. So next, let's put in our date dots, and I do think I'm going to go with these ones. They're so small and cute. So the 1st of April, I, I'm pretty sure was that Saturday. Let's double check, though. Yes, Saturday. Let's see if I can not mess it up this month. It's like the hardest part about an undated calendar is dating it. <laughs> so first... To save you guys a little on time, I went ahead and speeded this up and the rest of the video will be a voiceover. So of course this is just me putting down the dates. I did make one little mishap on the 7th, which was when I went to take the sticker off, I actually got the paper as well. And <laughs> you'll see me, I just set it off to the side to tackle at the end. Now if that ever happens, having a pointed pair of tweezers like this comes in really handy, especially with these really tiny stickers, because you just need to get the point between the backing and the sticker to be able to separate the two. 
The other thing I will mention is if I had used the dates that went with the kit, they probably would have popped out more. I kind of like them just being there and very subtle. And I mean, either way is really nice, but I, I really appreciated having the option with that freebie that she sent with this kit. Also, you'll see a couple of additional things will be added at the end. You'll see those in close-ups. It's just things for the new diet that are being added. And the other big change that I'm going to mention to you for this month is after today, I think I'm going to be moving the plan with me videos from Sunday to Friday to better fit in people's schedule. And I'm debating, I'm going to do another poll and figure out what time of day works best for most people. So if you want to be involved in that, that'll go up on my Instagram either tonight or tomorrow so I can better kind of gauge things, but I will be switching some things up and Sundays will now be dedicated to my weight loss journey in the weeks going forward that is going to start on the 9th. At least that's the plan and I'm going to be switching up a couple of other things. So if you guys want to be involved in those decisions, I will probably be putting some polls up on my Instagram, which is linked below. Now I'm going through and I'm putting on all those important days that came with the kit, like April Fool's, Easter. I'm using some of the birthday little swatches that she had to just set those things up so that I have them as part of the base. After I have those in place, I did go and put the happy birthday to mark like my sister's birthday. And I used the other swatch that kind of matched everything to mark my husband's cousin's birthday because we're pretty close with her as well. The next thing I really wanted was some kind of separation with the border at the top and everything. And originally I kind of pulled out the, the floral border that came with the kit and decided that was going to be too much at the top. So I went ahead and pulled out these trims. I've had these for quite a while from Sadie stickers and just kind of edged everything at the top to give it a more finished touch and just make it look more put together. These trims did come in a shorter version and a longer version there. And I think she's now doing just the longer version. The other thing I was going to point out on these is you may have noticed that one of the strips got a little caught in the middle. And instead of pulling from that point because it had started to tear, I went ahead and switched to the other end to pull it up. That made it a little easier. Now the next thing I'm doing here is just adding in some of that floral trim as a substitute washi down later in the month. This is because of a work trip Jared has and I want it to mark it in a different way because I also have some skating things that I'm going to be marking with washi and I want it to differentiate between the two and have them each be their own thing. Plus I really liked bringing in more of the florals down there so I think that was really nice. I will say that this floral trim was maybe one of the harder ones that I've ever worked with just because it has these spots where it's cut all the way up almost to a cutting point on the strips so it was very likely to tear because there's such a small piece of sticker paper keeping them together. So if you do get this trim make sure that you're really careful with it. Um, I did go ahead and pick up some of those date dots just to kind of put them on top of the floral because I hadn't thought of this when I put the date dots down and so we just moved them really quick. They did pick up really nicely and go back down really nicely so that was a bonus. I did have a few areas where I kind of skipped over but continued that line just to give myself more space and room to write. Like when I skipped over above Earth Day, it's not because I didn't want to continue the line, but I realized I needed a spot to be able to write in. He had a transition, which we'll get into in a little bit, but he transitioned from one city to the next. So I needed somewhere to kind of put that and designate that for myself. This is the washi that I'm going to go ahead and use to mark some skating things. The first one will be a skating competition. And the second one is a skating show. The washi is from Simply Gilded. It's a really, really pretty washi. This was from one of her, her subscription boxes, I'm pretty sure. I'm also going through and I'm using the payday scripts that came with the kit to make sure I mark those because I just wanted those simply done on there. And then I pulled out my favorite letters to Apollo airplanes 
and I'm going to start marking the one-off events. The first of which, which was on April 1st, my husband finally came home from his world trip. He literally flew around the world on this one. So he went from Africa, from here to Africa, from Africa to Japan, from Japan to back home. He originally maybe was going to go to California, but it was a long trip. So he's home now. But um, I used that to mark him being home along with a little bit of a floral. Then I went ahead and I'm using, this is actually a Harriet Wright Designs circle that I've had for quite a while. And I'm using that to mark Megan's therapy. That is the only one that is on the calendar so far this month. The way her therapist does it is each week you schedule your appointment where Emily's and my own, we schedule, like I just have a standing appointment and so does she. I kind of like that better. It's easier to plan, but you know, each their own. <laughs> so I went ahead and scheduled that. This is literally all of our one-off things. So I'm going to go back after I have all of these down to put in the normal weekly stuff. So Emily is going to be starting back up speech therapy and that's going to happen on Tuesday. We're kind of excited for it. I won't lie. <laughs> She has made just so much progress and the person that she works with is amazing. So I'm excited to see what other changes happen over the next couple months because I think we're going to be switching some focuses. And then this is just me going through going, okay, what is our next big event, which happens to be on the 6th. I have a massage scheduled for me. I'm trying to do this once a month. And since my birthday was that week, I was like, I'm just going to schedule it for the week of my birthday. And I used a joy of planning little girl with getting her massage there to mark that along with one of the boxes from the kit. The next thing I'm marking is the kids have a half day on Friday for I think it's good Friday and so they'll be home early I actually have a extra therapy appointment this week because on okay so my birthday is on Saturday and uh, my brother died on my birthday so just having the extra support is helpful for me and then Ethan also has a doctor's appointment that day that's a virtual doctor's appointment so that'll be easy but I marked that just with a white deer stationary little stethoscope. I thought that was really cute. We already have Easter marked, so I went down to the next week and I'm marking Jarrett's dental appointment. And then you get to see me attempting to film just a little bit for Instagram here. I can't remember if that video went up or not. I think it did. It's kind of showcasing putting together this kit. It was kind of fun, but it's really hard to write and hold <laughs> the camera in your other hand. Just saying. So I went ahead. Oh, I'm filming another little bit here. This is to mark Dan's jazz band. They don't get together every week. So um, I like to kind of mark the specific ones that he does a little special. Like I think he only has the one more jazz band practice. As far as I know, I'll have to check with him. So we have that going on and I just used a Letters to Apollo little swoosh with some musical notes and a butterfly along with some floral there to kind of put that all together. And then I marked just using a flower that Ethan has no school on the 12th. The other kids have school, but because he's a senior, they're doing like a virtual day where all the other kids have testing. On the 11th, I am meeting with the surgeon to talk about the pain that I've had for my gallbladder removal and see if there is anything that they want to do for that, if they're going to take the stones that are left in there out or leave them. It's, it's a big debate. And then I just used a box from the kit over top the washi to mark Megan's skating competition there at the end of that week. And I pulled in a Crafts by Towie skate icon. I really stocked up on those around Christmas. I don't think they're a normal thing in her shop. Um, so she did a, she does some special seasonal ones and that's one of them. Then the following week I went ahead and 
pulled in another one of those circles and I'm going to use this to mark the beginning of Jarrett's trip. He is flying off to Boston. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in another one of those planes to kind of mark that. I did skip a little bit. It shows some different speech therapy in there as well that we have. We have twice that week because we have it. We don't have it the week before, which is fine. And then I also marked with another plane, him switching from Boston to Maine. He's going to go up to our cabin and kind of check on things up there. It's a family cabin, so it's not just ours, but you know what I mean? <laughs> then I'm going down to the next week and I'm marking my dental appointment. That is a white deer stationaries icon. It's not really showing very well in this image, but it's a clipboard with like a tooth on it. It's really cute. And then I'm using another strip of that washi to mark the spring skating show they're doing the little mermaid which will be really fun megan is going to be the chef which is i think going to be hilarious so we we just got her a fake meat cleaver and i'm going to be ordering a stuffed sebastian today to go with that which will be really fun so we have that and I think those are all the normal things. And this month, to mark in the everyday stuff, I decided to pull in my Tombos and highlighters just to kind of give myself more space because there is a lot that needs to go on these days. So I am trying to do a little bit of color coding. And so I was using the light pink to mark all of the spots where Megan had lessons. So I went through and I'm like, we have Monday lessons, so I went ahead and did that. And now I'm going ahead and doing the same thing for Wednesday and Thursday. I didn't put the times on just because I'm posting this. So I'll, I put the times on later. Um, it just feels like it keeps things a little bit more private for my kids and for like a safety issue a little bit. So I went ahead and marked those on. And then I'm going to go through and do the same for all the kids using a different color for each kid. So for Emily, I'm going to use purple, which I, th I think, yep, there is the purple. I really love this new highlighter or brush pen, whatever you want to call it. But I'm using that to mark Emily's therapy. And it just adds a really subtle little swatch of color underneath. I do like the Tombows, I think, a little bit better than the mild liners just because they are a little bit lighter. And so it's easier for me to work with. Like here's a... A mild liner and this one is pink to mark Ethan's work. I was hoping to find another color that was a little bit lighter but I, I could not find that. So I went ahead and went with this one instead and I'm just marking you know he works on Mondays and Sundays and sometimes on Wednesdays although I think he's until the end of the school year taking Wednesdays off to make sure he focuses on the other things he needs to get done. And then after I get Ethan's marked in, I'm going to go ahead and mark in Dan's schedule, which he works on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And I did use this mild liner from, I think this is a new one that they have out that I got from Go Wild. And I really, I think it's called Olive and it has been really versatile. I think I've used it four times in the last week. So love this color. I didn't think I would be a green person, especially like olive green. But it really, really coordinates well with a lot of the spring kits that I've been using. So I'm just going ahead and marking in his work so I make sure I know all of that. If I had gone through and tried to do each one of these things on their own sticker, there just would not be enough room. So that's why the Mind Liner really works well or the Tombow or whatever you want to use. It just makes it more functional, but you can still have pretty elements with the one-off days. At least that's what's working for me currently. Now I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit of deco, including these cute balloons from Crafts by Towie. I was going to add some to my sister's birthday too, but it didn't look right. I'm also putting that I'm taking uh, my birthday off. I'm not doing any running of any kids anywhere. I am just going to be around for my birthday. At least that's the theory. <laughs> then I realized I forgot to mark my therapy appointments. So I'm going ahead and going back through. And I did pull off the stickers to do that just because I had them. It looked like I had the space to do it. And while they're not in the same color, they are the same shape, which is another way of coordinating that type of thing. And I'm just adding a little bit of floral to them because I'm not pulling in an icon. 
Um, I didn't want the complexity of having both. I thought it might look too cluttered with all of the other stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark in, put my therapist name in there. <laughs> She's a sweetheart. I love her to death. She's been so helpful. So after I get those down, I'm going to go ahead and mark in, like I'm using the appointments from the kit to mark those appointments. So I have a little bit of extra pizzazz there. <laughs> Now I'm just taking a look back going, what am I missing? And I realized I had this area at the top where I could have used those fill in squares, but I thought I would instead add a little bit more inspiration for myself. So I used both torn papers to kind of make a squared off area. And I'm going to use a large floral on top of that lower one. And then I went ahead and I looked up a quote, which is, you didn't gain all your weight in one day. You won't lose it in one day because I am starting that new diet, which is going to start on the 11th, right after my birthday. I didn't want to start it before my birthday because I, I just want to be able to celebrate my birthday and make sure I'm fully prepared to go full in on all of this. So I went ahead and added that. And then I also decided to pull in another box from the kit and I overlap it a little bit with the, the torn paper element. And I'm just putting a reminder up there with the, the saying, be patient with yourself, because I also think that is super important because it's going to be hard. I'm going to mess up. And it's just that whole process of picking yourself back up and saying, okay, I'm going to start again and we're going to try some more. So I went ahead and did that. I'm adding a little bit more floral and now I'm pretty much done for the month. So I'm going to go in and add a few more decorative things, including this little Easter girl from Paper Dolls Co. I, I love her girls if you haven't seen before. <laughs> and I'm also going to go in and add a little bit more floral and use up the rest of that sampler with all the butterflies because I was like, I have them. They coordinate perfectly. I might as well use them. So I'm just going to go through and randomly place some butterflies. And I think there were some clusters with like a butterfly and some dots and stuff and just kind of fill in some of these spaces that felt a little bit lacking. <laughs> the, the 25th still looks pretty blank to me, honestly, because it has nothing on it. I mean, when does that ever happen? <laughs> I didn't realize that until I was like looking back at this and I was like, wait, that, that feels wrong. <laughs> it's nice to have a day where nothing's going on. I'm sure it's not going to stay that way, but that's kind of where we are. I will have to go back in here. Megan will have some special practices for the spring show. I think they'll start after the skating competition. She'll have like two weeks of in the evenings practice because she'll be in a, a group number. She's one of the daughters of Titan as well as I think there's a group number, but I don't know what it was for. Maybe it's the undersea number or something. I can't remember, but anyhow, so I'm just going in and adding those butterflies, which are so pretty. I love the variety that she has in her butterflies, by the way. <laughs> As I'm doing that, I'm just going to tell you the things that I've added in since I finished filming that, that you'll see in the close-ups, which are on Mondays, I'll have a mindfulness thing with that weight loss group. There is on, I believe it's Wednesdays, there's a weight loss support group that I'll be part of in the evenings where we'll get together. There's also some classes. I haven't marked those yet, but those will be on here and ordering my meals. Well, that's everything for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.